So good morning everybody, my name is Charles Ward, I'm here today with Mark Price from Polar Bear Windows and uh, we're going to be talking about double glazing, the double glazing work they do in Bristol and the Bath area. So I'll hand over to Mark now to give us a little bit of background on Polar Bear Windows. Hi, yeah. <coughs> I'm Mark from Polar Windows, owner and creator of the company. i um, been doing windows since I was 17. Wow. Now 41. Um, all I've ever done is fit windows, but the last sort of five years I've been concentrating on developing and growing the business, come away from the tools and then uh, handed it over to different managers. And uh, I've been still on the outside managing it from, from the outside in. So to keep up the quality and uh, what we do for a living is fit windows for customers. A um, <clears throat> bit about what I do is mainly, we're, all, we're mainly about giving customer service over than anything. Because I'm an uh, ex-fitter and the way I've grown the business is all to do with customer to me is king basically. So we want to make sure, my, my main thing is making sure the job's fitted right before anything. That's why one of our policies we don't take a penny from the customer till it's all in and fitted and when it's fitted then they pay the, the, the installing team on completion. So they're, they're in complete control of it. So there's no issues with um, any any <clears throat> outstanding work or nothing. Everything gets started and everything gets finished. We don't go off and have a tea break and we don't go off down the road and get stuff. We stay with that job until the job's done. Okay, it's interesting, Mark. So what's, um, you know, obviously I've had double glazing visit, people visit me before. Mm -hmm. So what's unique about the polar bear approach? What makes you a little bit different? What makes you stand out? Well, because <clears throat> I'm not into the laddie da selling technique. I'm into more about advising the customer the right windows for their property because every property is different and everyone likes different things. They want different openers here and different designs and different colours. So because I've fitted so many windows, I can visually see jobs fitted before we've even started. So if I see a house, I think, yeah, that'll look nice there. Little things like equal sights or a little beveled glass or diamond lead or Georgian bar chrome handles, white handles, as soon as I go into someone's house, I'm looking at around in their, at their um, decor and everything, and already I can put it in my head what I can advise them. So it's kind of, you do something that suits each property, really? Yeah, but I'm not there to, I'm not there to sell. My first instinct is there to advise, and if I advise it right, then hopefully they'll come and choose us to buy from us. So That's good. we're not a sales laddie dad company. So there's no hard sell? None at all. Because that's no. always a thing you're a bit nervous with the double amazing people, aren't you? Yeah, oh I, 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 I am. Am I ever going to get rid of them? You know, it's not not <laughs> into that that side of the business at all. No way do we want to be um, a sales pushy company. And Johnny works for me and Jim and loads, all the other people that work for me, but because they fitted windows in the past, the way that I brought them into the company and, and we've all discussed it is we don't do any selling in the house. If people want to buy it from Polar Bear Windows because of what we offer, brilliant. If they get sucked into being sold it from another company, then that's their choice. That's, that's, that's just the way it is. So you're leaving it up to them to decide? <clears throat> yeah, completely, yeah. That's a really honest Obviously, approach. Obviously, we want everyone's business, but you know we can't please everyone and some people's not going to like our approach. They, some people like to be pressured and some people like to be told what to do. We All we do is advice and hopefully the, the, the success that we've got at the moment seems to be working. If they want it from us, then they always come back. Okay, so, so you get a lot of sort of recommendations and word of mouth. Yes. Yeah. And they're a good thing, about 75% of our work is uh, mainly from recommendation. Well, that speaks for itself. Yeah, it? our, our actual biggest sales force out there is the customer. Mm. They are actually, um, <clears throat> is, you just take that extra time, that extra care, putting down the extra dust sheet, taking the extra time removing the window, take the extra time putting it in and finish it off, attention to detail. If you get that right, the customer will then recommend us to all their friends and family. I mean, on Google review, I think if you actually Google some of the UPC windows or double glazing, we're one of the only companies on there that's actually got Google reviews, and we got quite a few of them. That's, that's people, good. Yeah, because you cannot. I think I don't. You're, I don't know if you can do that, but is there an option where you can let people put reviews on? Yes, you can. Yes. Yeah. So we let people put their own statement. A lot of companies don't because. They're frightened of uh, what people might say. 
because we do a good job, people can say what they want, and nine times out of ten, they're all saying good stuff. So, and if they don't, you can always respond and do something. <clears throat> yeah, of course we can. But I mean, we're in touch word. We've had nothing to respond to. Yeah, so that's, that's good news. Um, it's all good. That's good news. And um, there's a new thing called Checker Trade. Um, which is on the internet and on the telly at the moment on HTV, and we're getting loads of 10 out of 10s on that as well. So we've That's had, really good. We've had 10 reviews already in the last six weeks, and they've even rang us, and um, they want to use us now as an example to promote their company to other companies to say this is how you do it. This is how you become good on your check and trade, basically. That's really good. Copy these people because they're doing it right. That's yeah, good. Check and trade is another very honest approach. I think they can say what they want, can't they? Which is good. Hmm. So that's interesting. What about um, security, Mark? One of the questions I would imagine get asked a lot is how secure are the windows? Because obviously in this day and age, you've got problems with people, nasty people getting into your house and things. Possibly. Yeah, well, about seven years ago, I think it was, I'd actually done a security check myself on the window that I promote and sell. Um, and that is live on the internet as well. That's on a DVD. Um, there's nothing to hide there, so we've done a security test on the locks. I explained about how um, how the fire escape hinges work, because I was an ex-fireman for 10 years, how an easy clean hinge works, how the tough and glass work. I've done all that on this DVD. So what part of one of my, my guarantees is, is what I give here. If you see that, security guarantee. If anyone breaks into our window through forced entry, so through breaking into it with lever bars, crow bars, um, I will replace that window from free of charge. I say confident I am. I think I'm the only company that I know of that does that. So, That's good. You know, I'm backing up what I say. And I'm doing another security test in about three months' time in our new showroom. And we're going to offer people to do their own break in challenge. And if they do, then they'll get somewhere. But I'm pretty confident. So, come on with the hammer. <laughs> yeah, they can do it because I've done it. I mean, I, like I said, I was a fireman for 10 years. And on film, you can't fake crowbars, screwdrivers, and hammers. It's all on film. I can't fake it. No, you can no. actually see it splitting the plastic, bending it, twisting it, and it's all there. So I've got nothing to hide. You know, That's we're, not, good. we're not into that. But we're, we're a no. I don't want to say the word, but we're a no nonsense window company. There is a never word, but I don't want to say it on there. It's okay, it's to do with balls and. Okay, I understand, I understand. So that leads us on nicely to guarantees. So what sort of, once you, your windows are installed, what sort of guarantees do you Right, obviously, because, um, again, we're not all about money. It's not all about ripping people off and getting their money. It's about looking after them for the, for the whole generation of their, their windows. So I offer them, again, I think it's only me, and I will say I know Everest do it. I haven't got a problem promoting their, that they do it as well. I think it's only me and Everest who do it. It's a lifetime guarantee which is uh, this one here that we give you. So we guarantee the windows for 20 years against it bending, bowing, warping, cracking, going yellow, splitting, anything like that for 20 years. And also we give you a guarantee on your handles, hinges, and everything like that um, for a full 10 years, and we look after you. And to, and to be honest with you, if, if you're still living in a house in 20 years and you ring me up and you've got a broken handle, of course I'm going to come ring. Might not be me because I might not be here, but um, the company's growing and growing, and I'm putting everything in place to make sure that we are around. And you know, I'm not doing this for five minutes. This is my pension, and this is my. Um, I've just taken my son on, who's 16 now, on an apprenticeship. Basically, he's not going on any apprenticeship. He's going on like a 20-year apprenticeship. So he's going to be learning all of that in there. He's going to be learning about fitting. He's going to do the whole everything that I've done in my 20 years. He's gonna have to do. Yeah, so I'm out there doing some drawings this morning. Yeah, that's George. So um, <clears throat> he's gonna have to learn the business inside out. And if he doesn't, then he'd have to go, and I will get someone else in. There's no, no, okay, so I'm not built. You know, this is my company. So it's a family time. business in the true sense of the word, really. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting. And friends, you know, I've got some of my best friends that work for me. So not not by not just because they're my best friends, it's just because they're in the industry and we bonded over the years and. Sort of John I've known for since I was at school. Jim I've known for twenty years, and that's good. And obviously, yeah, uh, hey, when we were talking the other day, you, you uh, I'm just thinking about what you said about your guarantee. Yeah. Um, we were sort of talking about double glazing versus triple glazing. You were saying that the reason you don't tend not to do triple glazing is because of the weight 
And that will obviously affect your guarantees, is that correct? Well, we don't promote triple glazing because we can get an energy rated window the same effect as a triple glazed with a double glazed. So there's, no point point in it. It. there's no point in it. The only, the, there is a point of triple glazing that I would promote, and that is um, if you live on a real busy main road and you're like 10 foot, like somewhere in Bemster or something, where you're 10 foot from the road, then I would promote triple glazing then, because it yes. does act to the same barrier. But for, for, for energy rating purposes, um, we can get the same value with a double glaze. And everyone's promoting this triple glazing at the moment, but I haven't been putting these windows long enough. The hinges are designed to take the weight of a double glaze unit, not a triple glaze. So okay. there's already things coming now from different companies, and I've heard of issues that the, the hinges are bending, and people are going back to have to repack the glass all the time. That's not good, that, that, that to me is common sense. That's why I've never gone down that road. But you know, in time, I expect they're developing now stronger hinges to, to cope with that. But I'm waiting until they're out. Not, okay. I'm not doing it the other way. I'm not out to promote something just to get a sell. No. Because otherwise, it's not. There's no point. I've got, no. I got to go back and put it right, and I, I don't want to be going backwards and forwards to people's houses when I know what I'm doing it right in the first place. No, I can see that. So while I was reading your brochure, I was interested to see something about guarantee satisfaction. Is that connected with the guarantee, or is that something else? No, that's just because um, again, we're one of the only few companies. Um, there are there are other companies, but one of the few that doesn't take a payment until the job is in, fit and finished. So obviously I can guarantee you're going to be satisfied because we want, we're not in this for a laugh. We want to get paid for doing the job. So um, by doing that, we make sure we do it right. So I can guarantee that every customer will be satisfied. And if they're not, they don't pay us, but we always make sure they do because we need to be paid for doing what we're doing. We're a business at the end of the day. You have to be confident about what you do to do that. Well, yeah, I got... Um, because I'm a window fitter, when I take on the, the backbone behind any window company for me, and I've always said it because I was a fitter, is the window fitter. Because sales staff or admin staff or anything like that, they're brilliant, but they work behind the scenes. But the actual fitter is the one that's out there doing the job, because that's what we do at the end of the day. We fit windows for a living. We don't sell glossy brochures, and we don't, you know, we don't, all oh, this is brilliant, this is fantastic. At the end of the day, that ain't putting your windows in. No. The window fitter has got to fit your windows and they've got to be done right, they've got to be done spot on. So things like rendering down the sides, um, you know, you just don't buy any spar. When you spar a window up, you've got to put the proper spar down. You might have a Dorset spar, Derbyshire, um, Canterbury, black and white. What's the spar? So you know when you get like a, a rendered finished house with a pebble dash. Oh, effect, okay, I understand. There's about twenty different um, brands of spar, like as in colours and different things like that. So you might see some like like a yellow, which is a Dorset or a Derbyshire. You've seen black and white spar, which is black and white Canterbury, which is like a red and a, a white and a, a move. There's like loads out there, and, or, or even things like just flat rendering. It's got to be done properly. Okay. Or when you do round, like, say you've got like a stone house, you just don't put sand cement around a stone house. You put a stone dust with a three to one mix, and then you point it in, then you cut it back so it matches in with the building. That's gone fuzzy, mate. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what's caused that, but um, it should come back in a minute. What's um? You should have got me to put that camera that have been done properly. <laughs> <laughs> it should be okay. Well, we'll get into there. We are. Hold our cameras. That's what we all did. Back again. It's probably something to do with the connection, maybe. But um, so we covered the financial side. What about yeah? You know, what's the process when someone comes to you? What kind of do you give free quotes? Is that you give free quotes? Oh, yeah, we don't charge for nothing. We don't charge okay. for any advice at all. Um, people ring us up, and some people just ring up and they want a quote for free windows, and we say, well. They, they say we don't want anyone out who just want a rough quote, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we do things like just send us a picture. All you got to do, everyone's got these smartphones now, haven't they, and cameras and all that. Just take a picture of the window, three or four or five windows, or stand back, take a picture of the house, email it into us, and I'll be able to price it within within £100. Okay. Just by seeing the house. Because obviously I've done hundreds of thousands of houses over 20 years. 
That's a really so good. I, I can I can know I know the size of most windows just by looking at it. Um, so we can price jobs like that. So everything's free, and yeah. even you know even customers who get a quote and they're happy with the quote, but they're not too sure and they don't want to get anyone else out. Just email us the quote. Don't don't show us the price, and we'll um. I'll tell you roughly what you should be paying, and if it's round about your quote, then you know you've got a good quote from another company. Yeah, okay, that's really good. That's what we advise people to get three or four quotes at the end of the day. Don't Thank just you. take our word for it. No, go and get some more. That's really good, Well, Thanks for what you've said, and you know, it's Take been really point. interesting, and you've covered everything I wanted to ask, so thank you. That's right. Thank you very much. Good.